To begin, add two cups of lukewarm water to a bowl and then add a half teaspoon of dry active yeast to that lukewarm water, making sure that the water's not too hot, otherwise it'll kill the yeast. Once you've added the yeast, go ahead and add a pinch of sugar and stir to make sure that the yeast has something to feed off of. After you've stirred the mixture, you can let it sit for about 10 minutes or so. Now after your yeast has sat for about 10 minutes and formed some bubbles, you can dump it into a large bowl, making sure to scrape out all the little bits and pieces so that your sugar and yeast are all incorporated into your dough. Then add a tablespoon of olive oil and stir. Now you can add about four and a half cups of flour to your mixture, but you wanna make sure that you don't add too much flour at one time. Stirring gradually to make sure it all becomes incorporated. Add a tablespoon of salt and stir that in as well. You can start mixing this mixture by your hands now, but if it still becomes too sticky, you're always free to add more flour. Start to incorporate the flour and salt um, by kneading with your hands, and you can transfer the dough to a flatter surface so you have more workspace. Continue to knead until everything is combined, adding flour as needed. And eventually over time you'll see the dough start to combine really well together. It should look something like this when you're finished. If you poke the dough and it rises back, that's how you know it's finished kneading. Now add a drizzle of olive oil to a clean bowl and spread it around using your fingers if necessary to coat all of the edges of the bowl. Now add your dough to that bowl and spread it around, rolling it to make sure all the edges of the dough are coated in olive oil. Now we want it to rise, so cover it with a damp cloth and put it in some place warm. While you're waiting for your dough to rise for about an hour to two hours, you can start setting up all of your other ingredients. So in order to cook some sausage that I wanted to put on my pizza, I needed to set up a two burner stove. So you can attach the sides to keep the lid up and shielding the wind from blowing out your uh, burner. And then take your spigot just like this and attach it to the side so you can attach your propane to the stove. Twist the spigot tightened and then you can attach your propane. Once that's done, you can check to make sure it turns on by turning the dial and lighting the burner. And you're good to go. Now you can begin cooking your sausage. So grab a pan and a spatula and start dumping the ground sausage into the pan to cook it. Once you've lit the burner, you can start cooking your sausage. You wanna make sure that the heat is at the right temperature so your meat doesn't cook too quickly and burn. So check that. And start browning the meat. Once it's brown, you're good to go. Now you can start preparing any other toppings you want on your pizza. I chose green bell pepper, onions, and mushrooms. So go ahead and chop up those vegetables depending on what you want.